So everyone, welcome back to this little project of mine where I'm attempting to restore and repair and customise this Amstrad CPC 464. Now if you saw the last part, you know that I got the power working. Uh, the board was not being powered, so I um, what I did is I uh, soldered a new one on. So uh, I originally, in, in that video I originally used the uh, the one that was with it, but then after it being not so great, uh, as is seen in the previous video, I took one from a spare board that I had and soldered that one on, and now this one is um, pretty rock solid, hopefully. And so I can say, this board is very, very clean. Um, I've cleaned it even more now, with some spray, I've cleaned the contacts up as well. Yes, I think it's quite a clean board, there's a few, there's, I mean there's a little bit of corrosion here, and here, around the edges, but nothing to hamper its operation. It does operate really well. But what doesn't operate, as we have seen, is the tape deck. Now, uh, what happens is that uh, this spindle here is not turning on the play function. And uh, I did a little bit of digging, a little bit of research, and uh, watched a Gadget's video on it. Thank you very much, Chris, for that. Very helpful. And um, discovered what the problem is. Um, before I get into that, I'm just going to talk about the uh, the damage on the plastic here and what I'm planning to do with this. Uh, there's a big crack along there, as you can see, and on the back there's a crack here, and this bit missing here. Um, um, the plan is uh, to uh, get this sort of like uh, glued together, uh, clamp this together and glue it together. Obviously take the body, take all the keys off and everything, and get that nice and flush again and sand it down. Same with the back bit, uh, get that glued together and polished over. And this bit here probably cut the rest of the what remaining of the grill off and put some sort of uh, maybe a perspex bit in there I'm not sure uh, what I'm gonna do but uh, I might do like, like a little bit of a perspex window or something like that it could be kind of cool to sort of see the inside of the of the system uh, as long as it's protected and there's also a bit of scratch in here so I have to go over this board go over the cover should I say with a bit of a uh, wet and dry uh, to uh, rough it up a bit because then I'm gonna respray it it's gonna be resprayed I think I'm going to respray it black. And it's going to be interesting to see how it's going to be. Look, I've got my decals for it already. <clears throat> Let's put that down there. And I'll show you the decals I've got, which I think will look pretty cool. So I've got uh, a new Amstrad decal logo. So I'm hoping to put it jauntily across the corner like that. That's the kind of idea I'm going for. This strip, excuse me, this strip here was uh, beyond repair, unfortunately. I did try and flatten it out. Um, but it was completely beyond repair, so I'm going to end up. I'm, I'm going to fashion some sort of plastic strip to go in that gap, and then sort of customise it maybe with a bit of uh, hand paint or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. Jauntily put that across the side, or maybe across like that. I don't know. But I do have a very cool other decal to, for the front. I'm going to put a, a decal along the front edge, like that. I better move, just let me just move that out of the way gently, and. Um, I think this is this is going to look rather cool. So I've got this decal here. Whoa, look at that. And that's going to go across there like that. Something along like that. I, I don't know. I haven't thought about it. I've also got a massive great yellow decal as well. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Uh, we'll see. I just bought a load of stickers. Essentially fashioned a load of stickers and bought them. So anyway. That aside, let's move on with the tape deck. So this tape deck essentially, what's happening behind here is that I replaced the belts the belts, uh, I, I replaced the belt, that didn't do anything, this belt is now torque, it was a brand new belt but I do think the problem lies underneath so I'm going to just strip it down and uh, I'll be with you in a second so this is the tape deck disassembled, I've still got the board on the back there's no need to uh, take the board off because I discovered that um, this roller here which engages the main, this is the play spindle and this idler, this idle roller here engages that to turn it, uh, this is obviously the pinch roller here and that seems to be functioning perfectly fine I've given it a clean and a rough up though so thing is, this is um, the, 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 the rubber ring around it is damaged uh, and it's it was split at some point I believe but also you can see, just see there I don't know whether you can see that that closely, but there it's uh, broken. This the lip on this wheel is broken, slightly a bit brittle. So 
I originally was going to try and repair that, but I have a spare. Yes. Thank you very much to uh, my good buddy Yellowbelly for donating this. So this is just the, gut, the plain guts of a uh, Force Explorer that he modded with a uh, DDI-3. and mounted the DDI-3 actually inside the, the Amstrad, which is a really cool idea. I'm not going to go down that route. I want the tape deck working. So, of course, this hasn't got the interface board on it at all. And all the solders have been, all the wires have been chopped off on the head and everything else. And also, this um, this tape deck I originally had, is a, it, it just seems a lot cleaner. The buttons are cleaner. The internals just seem a lot cleaner than this board. But this um, idler... The idler on this one is very intact indeed. So what I'm going to do is nick the uh, the idler from this and put that transplant that into there. And I'm probably going to take the uh, spindle as well and pl transplant that into there because that's got a ring on it too. So this seems to engage well, pretty well. When this one, it seems to be a bit rough. So. That is the task now, so take all this out, take the guts out of this, get this wheel out, get the spindle off, which is easy because there's a circlip on top of there. That just pops off. Grease that underneath as well. There'll be a bit of grease under there more than likely because that seems to turn a lot better than that one. And uh, yeah, get this off, hopefully ease this out, ease the mechanism out, put that new wheel in, and Bob's your uncle. Hopefully, we get this 464 working again. So, what I have done now is um, put a new this this is the wheel from the donor rig I have put these I've, 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 I stuck with the uh, the one from the other rig so I put that spindle back on I put the circlips back in there's a ton of little circlips that are here and here that was very tricky very tricky to get this out uh, to manipulate this a little bit and I do hope that's not I don't think that I think that's still perfectly fine I'm not going to catch on anything um, I wasn't happy about slightly bending it to get it out of the way because getting all, all this rigging off is bloody a, a ball ache to be honest but that now seems to be engaging really tightly so with any luck fingers crossed that's done the trick I've completely butchered uh, the donor rig unfortunately um, I took some of this off to get it out and bent the um, bent part of the rig there to get the other wheel out but yeah this is the condition of the spring that was underneath the main spindle. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, really compressed it was. So the spring underneath I've uh, bent out a bit, um, slackened it off. So it's got a little bit of bounce to it still. And this was the original spindle. It's actually in pretty good nick, uh, but this out is a bit it's quite smooth on this outside. I've also roughed this up with a little bit, a little bit of um, uh, an emery board as well to give it a little bit more traction. So hopefully, hopefully, uh, that'll do the trick. So now I'm going to put it back together, and we're going to give it a test. Okay, right, so here it is back together. And um, I've also cleaned the head while I was at it. Look at the state of that. I've got some alcohol in the cotton bud, and uh, cleaned the head and the cat and, and the um, pinch roller, and all that mostly came off the pinch roller, to be fair. A little bit came off the head, that's on that one but uh, most of it came off the pinch roller. So that's all now clean and dry. So let's turn her on. I know this works because I fixed her. Let's just lower the camera a bit so we can see what we're doing. So, as you can see, everything works fine. So the, the, the litmus test is will this tape deck work? That's the litmus test. So, and then see if she'll load again. So I'm Hazard a guess to the last time this um, this one this uh, loaded a game. I have no idea. That seemed to work fine. Okay, so here we go. So here we go. So will she work? Oh, there you go. I'm gonna zoom that in a bit. Hang on a minute. See, I'm gonna get the angle right. The camera. There, it's turning. The capstan is now turning and working right. Okay, that's the head cleaner. Let's see. If she'll load again. So that's the head cleaner done. All right. This is the ultimate test. Now I know all these games work. 
So we've got the uh, the demonstration tape, the continuous demonstration. We're not going to bother with that. We're going to straight to go to Fantasy World Dizzy. My go-to tape. My go-to tape. Reset that. Right, here is the moment of truth, everyone. Let's turn her up. Here we go. Here we go. Everything seems to be turning fine in the cassette deck. Turn it up. I don't think this Amstrad, I'm going to take the camera off here just so you can have a quick look I don't think this Amstrad has loaded the game in a very very long while and there it is brought back from the dead this Amstrad was in a terrible state so the power didn't work, the tape deck didn't work even the counters moving which I know because I changed the belt on that as well so if this successfully loads Fantasy World Dizzy which as you can see the loading screen is going let's see if we can have joy again and this Amstrad is now mechanically at least saved from the death I'm very 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 pleased so all I've got to do now is get this body of this Amstrad fixed up, sprayed, customised. I am thinking of um, putting the uh, audio jack mod in the side as well. Uh, I might do that. I, I, I've always wanted to do that to an Amstrad, put the audio jack mod into the side. And I might do that, which is a, a simple affair of getting a, a 3.5 uh, audio jack so you can like uh, pump tap files and WAV files directly into uh, the cassette. How about that then? It actually sounds really healthy as well. If you can just hear that. It sounds very healthy in fact. Good speed. The spools are running really smooth and nice. It's nice to see that me cleaning the head has helped as well. Just hopefully we get a nice load. I'm off to do a jump cut here. Okay, so it's getting close to the end of the tape now. After that little jump cut. This isn't Amstrad Live game testing, so I'm not going to bore you with the whole loading of uh, Dizzy 3. Hopefully, fingers crossed, this loads. I mean, it looks promising. It does look promising. Oh my, there we go. What do you think of that, everyone? The speaker sounds a bit rough. Turn it down a bit. There we go. Could do with a bit of uh, sound boostage. I must come clean. During that jump cut, actually, uh, the uh, tape, uh, the game crashed right on load. Uh, as it got to load, uh, the, the, the game crashed. So, um, I don't think it was anything to do with the tape. I think that was just because it's the first time it's loaded a game in many, many, many moons. So I flipped the tape over. And it worked. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. Well done. You have come back from the dead. A bit bored uh, showing. Hee <laughs> hee. So there we go. Fantasy World. Dizzy, my favourite Dizzy, of course, has loaded successfully. So, and now we move on to the customization part of this 464. Now, the uh, electronics are fixed, the mechanics are fixed, we know she loads games. Let's get on with the modern. Tune in for the next part, and uh, I don't know when that'll be, in a couple of weeks maybe. Thanks for watching, no bug out.